Hey guys, Peyton Snape back here again, and um, this is um, Upcoming Movies Part 11, or Volume 11, whatever you guys could call it. As you can see, I know I'm usually, like in this kind of video, it usually takes place in my room, but I'm in the kitchen right now, so I just decided to do a new setting for today, so I'm sorry I haven't done this in, done this in over like one or two months now. I couldn't find any other movies to um, talk about that's coming up soon, but um, some of these are probably out by now, so, because I probably wrote them before they came out. Well, I did, I wrote them before they came out, so, so don't comment bad shit on me the same day they've been out, because I know they've been out, because it's just, I've, it's been a long time, so, you get the point. But I got a lot of stuff here. So the first one, I know this already came out, but the first one I have to talk about is um, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out the Blu-ray, um, the 40th anniversary edition. Um, the original one's a very good one. It really is. Um, next one, the Blob remake came out the Blu-ray. It's come out the Blu-ray. I don't know if I already did or what. Um, next one is the original Psycho. Um, it's, it's out. I know that's already out on Blu-ray, but it's got a limited edition set for it. And I've never seen any of Psychos. I've only seen the remake, which was pretty goddamn gay. It really was. With Vince Vaughn in it. Don't don't watch it, guys. Don't. It's it's one of those movies you think it's going to be very good, good, and it's good so far, till you get to the ending, and it's like God. What? That, that's it? That's like, you know. Next one is um, the, the Shaun of the Dead limited edition Blu-ray. It's also coming out for limited edition. And Scarface is limited edition Blu-ray as well. Um, next one is, um, this is, I don't know if it's, this is, I don't think it's coming out Scream, Scream or Shout Factory. I didn't even say at all if it was, but, um, it's, it's a weird mo movie, I mean, not weird, it looks interesting, it's called Slaughter Hotel, so one of those, um, sl slasher films, I like them slasher films, um, next one is Don't Answer the Phone, that's coming out the Blu-ray, I really love that movie, that, uh, it was, it was good, it was bait, I can't, it's been like a long time since I've seen it. I only watched it once. I have it, but I only watched it once. Which, I watched it in, like, February, so. But it was basically about this guy, this, um, psychotic person who basically calls these women and then he kills them and rapes them. Next one we have is Girly. It's coming out the Blu-ray. I forgot what it was. I think that, I think that was a horror film. And the next one is Hollow Z's. That's coming out the Blu-ray as well. Um, next one, and now this has already been out already, so um, which is Nightbreed is out on Screen Factory right now. I can't say is because it's out right now. So um, next one is they're making a new Beethoven film. I, I I'm not a big I don't like Beethoven. I, I don't know. I mean, I know it's popular movie. They're popular movies, and there's like five of them, I believe. I don't know how many they are. They're, they're, they made a lot, but um, they were making the new one, or I don't know, unless it's already out. But um, it's called Beethoven's Treasure Tale, which that is supposed to be. I don't know. It's not coming to theaters. I know. I, I don't know if it's a it's either a directed the video movie or a TV film. I I don't know. It's my cat right now. I've got a new chair, so the old one's over there. But, um, next one, I don't know if I'm getting the Blu-ray of it. I don't know why I should when I already have it. But, um, the 50th anniversary of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is coming out on Blu-ray. Of course, it's a classic. Who doesn't like it? Alright, then, um, next one they're making, they're thinking about making is 28 Months Later, 
which is a sequel to 28 Weeks Later. I, the only one I've seen was 28 Days Later, which, that was pretty good. I mean, it's, the, it's a British film, like the zombie sort of film. I'm not a big fan of the zombie films, like Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, um, Shaun of the Dead, all of that. I mean, the only... The only um, zombie film I like, but there was there was only like a couple. I liked um, Pet Cemetery, um, and um, the called Twenty Eight Days Later, and The Tension to Death, which was more of a comedy. I, I don't know. I just like just because Alexa Nicholas was in it, which she played on Zoey One Hundred and One. Oh damn. Anyway. Um. Next one is coming out is The Believers. It's coming out the Blu-ray. Um, now, the next one on here, I did, I know I reviewed about it, but I, I just want to tell you what it's, the name of it is going to be called. It's Paranormal Activity 5. Well, I, I, I think it said that now it's going to be a part 6 since the marked ones, they, they made the marked ones. So, technically, I think this is kind of a part five, but mostly a part six. Uh, but it's called Paranormal Activity, the, the Ghost Dimension. Um, all right. The next one um, that they're, that they're going to be making is The Last Horror Movie 2, which is a, a found footage film. I, I like them found footage films. I mean, to this day, the Blair Witch Project still confuses me. I don't know why. It, it just really does. And I know it's fake, but I, I just don't get the fucking film at all. But, um, they're making a sequel to Tunnel. It's called The Tunnel, Dead, Dead End, another, um, found footage film. And they're going to be making Evidence 2, which is, that's also a found footage film. Uh, it's going to be a sequel and a prequel. Next one, I might watch that on demand tonight. Um, it's not the evidence too. It's not on demand. This, this this next movie I'm about to talk about that's on demand. I might watch tonight. It's called Venom. That's coming out the Blu-ray soon. Um, next one we got is Tammy, which I saw that in theaters. Um, the, you know the one about the fat girl. Yeah. With I think her name is Melissa McCartney. I don't know, I could be wrong, but, which, obviously, of course, you know that's coming out the Blu-ray, but you don't know what's going to be on the Blu-ray. They're making an extended cut of the film. I'm excited to see that. Next one is The Simpsons, um, season 17. They're, so they're making the complete 17th season, of, of course, out on Blu-ray. They make it, they make almost anything on, out on Blu-ray now. Days, like now already, already they're thinking about doing the Purge three, but this one's gonna be a prequel. I only saw the, the first Purge. I want to see the second one, the Purge and Um, they're thinking about doing a Haunted House three, which I love the first one. I didn't really care for the second one, so I, I wonder how good the third one will be. Now, I know a lot of people have been saying that they're making a Jeepers Creepers 3, but now they're, well, the, the, um, they're not thinking about it. They are going to do Jeepers Creepers 3, but after that, they're going to be thinking about doing a part 4. All right, um, and of course, um, Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2 is coming out to Screen Factory. They're both coming out to Screen Factory. Um, next one is Christmas Evil. That's coming out the Blu-ray. I knew that would come out the Blu-ray sooner or later, which is about... i never seen it. I really want to. I might watch that on YouTube someday, but I don't know when. But it's about the um, killer Santa Claus or something. I don't know. But Sean, Phillip, Sean, Sean T. Phillips, Cool Duder, he said that he loved that movie. So if you're watching this Cool Duder, then you might want to get this because Christmas Evil is coming to Blu-ray. I... I it didn't say if it was Screen Factory or Shout Factory, but I, I'm pretty sh sure it will be because the way the picture, the front cover looks. Because, like, when they, what they've been doing the 
a lot these days, like having them um, drawing out designs or whatever, whatever the hell you call them. But next one they're making is Existes. I can't, I, to be honest, I know I wrote that one here last night, but I can't remember which one that was. But. All right. The rest of these I just found out just a few minutes ago. Um, which they're making a, a Bunny Man 2, which it's also known as the Bunny Man Massacre. Which, i never seen the first Bunny Man, but I, also I really don't know if it's really any good. But they're making the second one, which, like I said, it's also known as the Bunny Man Massacre. The rest of these are remakes. So, uh, they're making an American Werewolf in London remake. They're thinking about doing one. The Nymph... The Never Ending Story remake. I, I mean, I don't, I don't like them films. Like, I, my mom's friend gave, gave, gave the second one to me. Like when I was in 2008, like five years later, I finally got to watch it, and I did not really like it. So I, I took it to movie stop, because right? I knew I wasn't gonna watch it again, obviously. All right, Little Shop of Horrors. Or thing about doing the second remake, which. The original one was like a black and white film, um, which was like in the 50s or probably in the 50s, which it was okay. I mean, it was just about that guy. I think he bought the plant and he kept talking. He's like, eh, eh, and what he's ba what, it, what it's basically meaning is once that guy to feed him dead bodies and keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But the remake was like it was a 1986 film with Rick Moranis in it, you know. Honey and Chunk the Kids. But they're doing a second remake. Alright. And they're doing a Scarface remake. And the last one, I don't quite remember if I if I talked about this on these upcoming movies videos. But they're they're thinking about doing a chopping mall remake, so I don't know if I already reviewed about that or not. But anyway guys, um sorry it took so long movies for this video to talk about the upcoming films but no worries I finally did it so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you on Tuesday because of the new episode of Homicide Hunter Wednesday because of the new South Park so if they're doing a new South Park unless they don't if they're taking a break from it I, I don't know but anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching see ya